Jonathan, what are you doing? I thought if we were gonna make a video about scale insects, I should pretend to be a scale insect and get into their mindset. Of course you are. <laughs> we have had a high number of scale insect calls That's this true. year. They are such curious, strange, sort of lazy, but damaging creatures. It's true. So you appear to be a hard armored scale? I am a hard armored scale. I'd much rather be a hard scale with my hard coating here, like an oyster shell scale or a pine needle scale, or rather than that, than a squishy soft scale that's like an inverted leathery bowl, like a magnolia or calico scale. But why would it be important to know which kind you're dealing with, Jody? Finding out which species of scale you're dealing with will help determine the most effective course of action because with scales, timing is everything. Scale control is dependent on treating those immature stages known as crawlers. They are small, highly mobile, and they lack that protective armor that you have there, or the wax. So for example, oyster shell scale, they overwinter as eggs and they're protected by their mother, and they hatch in the spring. In comparison, soft scales like magnolia scale, they hatch and they crawl in the late summer or early fall. So what kind of damage do they do to plants? No matter what kind of scale insect you're dealing with, the crawler stage is going to move out from where they were laid and they're going to go to the uninfested portions of the plant and plug their mouth parts in. They've got these little needle-like mouth parts and they start siphoning out that sap for food. They're like little plant vampires. So as they are doing that, they may glue themselves there with some of those soft scales or make that hard coating with the hard scales. Uh, but no matter what they're doing, they're going to cause similar damage. It kind of looks like drought damage. The plant will get wilty and yellowed. It can also create an accumulation of a product we call honeydew. This is the sugary secretion that they excrete out and it can accumulate on leaves and cars and trunks and it can attract things like black sooty mold as well. Do you know what else really likes honeydew? Ants and wasps love honeydew produced by sap sucking insects. So you may see a high number of other insects around your infested trees or plants. A way that you can determine when that crawler stage is, is setting out a tape trap. You can use double-sided sticky tape or electrical tape and wrap that around the branch. Just make sure to come back and check to see when those crawlers are active so then you can think about doing a treatment. What types of treatments are there? When you see those crawlers accumulating on your sticky tape when you have a few of them there, you can use a pyrethroid type product to treat them directly, like permethrin or cyfluthrin. If you wanted to do a systemic control option, you would be using things like dinotefuron or imidacloprid. Those would be applied around the root zone either in the spring or fall, depending on the tree you're trying to protect and what species of scale insect you're dealing with. What about an organic method for our so, organic growers? Yeah, so if you're looking for an organic option, you could use dormant oil in this winter before the buds open or horticultural oil in the spring and summer. And if applied thoroughly to the plant, they are very effective at suppressing different kinds of scale. No matter how you treat for them though, you can't just hide and avoid scales. You have to be out there being vigilant and using those IPM methods.